All right, now that we're here, we have our PDF, our actual lead sheet pulled up of how to play the song. And we see at the top we have everything that we need. We have our title of the song, Waymaker, right? And then from there we can go, what else do we see? We see where there's no flats or sharps. So we're in the key of C. Uh, and then I like to just go by and kind of go scroll through the chart or my lead sheet and see what chords do I already know or maybe what chords do I need to refresh myself with, right? And if I go through the beginning, I see, obviously off top, I just see this C chord right here. I know that chord. We all know how to play a C chord by now, right? I see there's an F chord. We know how to play an F. We should know also how to play a G chord. All right, so far, pretty good. If we go to the next bar, there's this A minor. That's pretty easy, right? We know how to play an A minor. And then it seems like there's these two chords right here. There's a C slash E. And what that is, is a C over E. So what I'll do, let me just put a circle around here because I might get a little confused and might need to think a little bit when I see that chord. So I'm just going to mark a little note right there for right now. And then if I keep going through the rest of the song, I see the same chords again. Look, there's that G again. That was right here. It was right there, right? There's an A minor again. Look, there's that C over E. A F again. There's a C. A G, and that's pretty much the whole song. If I scroll through, uh oh, if I scroll through the song, you pretty much continue seeing the same thing. There's a there's that G again, you know the A, you know the same, pretty much the same chorus throughout the whole song. There's this whole line is pretty much the same chorus, right? So let me just get rid of some of this. All right. Now remember on lead sheets, what we're learning, we don't necessarily need to learn all of these dots. Actually, let me get rid of these boxes. Now that we know these chords, I'm gonna leave the highlighted ones, the C over E. I'm gonna leave those highlighted for now because we're gonna have to go back in, just refresh ourselves a little bit. But notice all these other notes. Remember on lead sheets, this is just a, a quick, diagram of how to play the song so everybody has their right to kind of interpret it uh interpret the song how they may feel so all of these extra notes and chords here and stuff it's okay to play that that's actual playing the notation of the song but what we're doing is we don't need to worry about all of those notes what we need to do is just once again on lead sheets we just need to focus on these top chords all right so now let me take you back and let's actually start uh, playing the song. Let's skip this C over E for right now. And we're going to go starting right on our F. Okay. So on our keyboard, we know our notes. Uh, here's our F note right here, right? So we can just play a regular F chord. All right. And then from there, remember on our lead sheet, there's four bars in between and then we have our next note right here which is a C let me just mark that right we go to our C and look there's our G it seems like we played this progression before actually I'll go down here to that G and then I'll play my A minor all right, now that kind of sounds good, but remember we had that one lesson where we started doing inversions of the chord. So we're just going, instead of just going our C, uh, I mean our F, two, three, four, to a C, two, three, to a G, two, three, four, to an A. Now that's cool, but we're gonna try to do some inversions all right, so on this F right here, let me just really erase all this for now. What if we did, instead of playing our root position, what if we went to our second inversion right here? All right, so let me just mark our F right here for our second inversion. All right, 
Or actually, let me, how about I do Roman numer Roman numerals? That'll probably be easier. So we'll do our second inversion. Okay. All right. And then we'll go, look here. If, if our C is the next note, I have my thumb already on C. And I know the notes in a C chord is C, E, and G. All I need to do coming from this F in this second position is just move my middle finger to the E and move my pinky to the G right there. So now I have my C chord and that is the root position, right? That's the root position. So let me just put root position uh, right here, root, okay? So let's start over. We have uh, F in the uh, in the second inversion, or F in the middle. Two, three, four to C root. Just move two fingers, my middle finger, my pinky. And now look, it kind of works out because I'm going to a G and look what fingers are already on G. We have my pinky finger on G right here, right? So if I just move Keep my pinky on, on G. What are the notes that come in a G chord? Well, it's G, B, and D. So here's a G right here. And what's the closest B? Well, my thumb is on C, so if I move that down one, that's B. G, B, and D. And look, my pointer finger is already freed up for my D. So if I just play those three notes, I have a G chord. And that, my friend, is the G on top or my first inversion. So let me just put first inversion right there. So I have G, B, and D. And instead of playing it like this, G, B, and D, I inverted the chord and played G, B, and D. So from the top, we have our F in the middle or our second inversion, F, two, three, four to a C in the root position. One, two, three, four to a G. Two, three, that's a G on top. Now I go to my A minor. Hmm, A minor. So first we know that chord, we know it's A, C, E, right? Those are the notes. So what's the quickest way to get there? Now this one's a little different because we don't have any of the our fingers actually on the notes here. So we could go down or we could go up. I'm gonna go up, okay? Cause it's muscle memory involved in playing the piano a little bit. So if I notice a little trick, if I have my G chord right here, if you're playing that along with me, all I have to do is slide, keep this same muscle memory finger. Remember if I just keep it lifted up, it just slide everything one note to the right. And I have the notes. I have an A right here, I have a C, and I have an E. So that gives me an A chord, and that is actually the A on top, or my first inversion again. All right, actually let me, uh, so we can see the notes. That's my first inversion. All right, so if we play, let's start over from the top again. So we have uh, F starting on F in the middle. One, two, ready, play. I have F, two, three, four, to the root position of C, two, three, four, the G on top. One, two, three, and then just slide everything up one note. F, I mean A, two, three, four. All right, now that is the basic progression of this song. Now you can do a lot of other things and actually the person that uh, transcribed this song, they put in that note that I was telling you about right here, which is actually a little passing chord, okay? So you don't have to play that song. Passing chords are just a little extra uh, something you can do um, 
to give the listener or something extra that's letting you know you're about to go to something else. Now, once again, on lead sheets, that's the good thing about lead sheets. We can interpret this however we want. We can choose to play some of these chords. We can take this C chord and make it a C major seven. We can expand it and do all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. But this, I just wanted you to know that this right here is a passing chord. Now, if you want to play that chord, it's very simple. All we want to do is still just play. We're coming out there off of our A minor. What it is is a C over F. So that means the first letter that we see, the C, that's what we're going to play in our right hand. And when we see that slash, that means our left hand is going to play something different. All right. All of, all of these other chords, they don't have anything like a slash different, like a F over F slash, another letter. That's because our left hand and our right hand are basically playing the same root note. OK, so on this one, what it's saying is we're actually going to play a C root note or a C chord. But our root note, which is our left hand, that's going to play a different note. And guess what it is? It's that E. All right. So if I'm coming off of this A minor in my first position or A on top, what I would like, what I would do is actually go. So I have an A right here in my left hand. What I would do is I will play a C chord in my right hand. And what's the quickest C chord? Look, C, E, G. I have a C. I have an E. So all I need to do is just move my pinky note finger right here. To the G and then in my left hand I just play a E right here okay and that kind of gives me a passing chord to get me right back I'm sorry they get me right back to the next chord which is my F up here okay you see how that works you see how that's a passing chord passing chord back to F and this for you guys that are just questioning why did not go to the G I didn't go to the G right here because I noticed right here that little bar with the two dots that means repeat and it's telling me to repeat back to right here where I see this little bar with the two dots okay so the first time I go back to the F and as you can see there's a little two right here so you go back and repeat this whole phrase and the second time you take this second ending which is the G right here okay okay all right so now let's try to play this whole progression together very slowly we're not even playing a tempo we're not worried about lyrics we're not worried about any of that yet we're just getting the foundation and breaking down the chords that are in this song, okay? Using lead sheets, okay? Not worried about melody or anything yet. So let's start together on the F. All right, well, let's play it. F in the middle. One, two, ready, play. You have your F. One, two, three, four, C. To the root position. Two, three, going to G on top to a G, two, three, four, to an A minor, two, three, passing chord, back to F, two, three, four. You see how that works? That passing chord is kind of quick, so when you go to that A minor, you're only holding that for one, two, to three beats, and then a passing chord. Let's try it again. Let's play it. Um, let's play it again. One, a little faster. Two, three, four. F in the middle. Two, three, four. To the C on bottom or your C root. I'm adding my left hand. One finger now to a G. Two, three. To my A minor. One, two. My passing chords come in. Passing chord. Back to F. Okay, it seems like you're getting it. Four to my C. Two, three to my G. One, two, three, 
Back to my A minor. Two, three, passing chord. Wow. If you got that already, you're a very fast learner. If you haven't got that already, don't worry about it. You will get it. Just continue practicing. And guys, don't even worry about the rhythm yet. These progressions and this, what you're seeing on this song, you will see hundreds of times. A lot of songs use these same progressions. So don't worry about speed. Worry about mastering these progressions going from your C to your G, your A to your F. And if you remember, we did this same progression on our fundamentals, our volume one uh, crash course of learning the piano. OK, so once again, let's just go through this song. And if we let's start adding uh, a little bit more speed to it, I'm going to play it one more time for you. Let's play it two times in a row. And we're going to add our passing chords, our F, our C, our G, our A, and then our add our passing chords. You ready? All right, here we go. One, two, ready. I'm adding my left hand. And F, two, three, four, to a C. Two, three, four, to a G on top. Two, three, and we slide everything to A. Passing chord, come in. C over E, F in the middle. Two, three, four. Back to C. Two, three, to my G. And G, two, three, four. And an A minor. Two, three, passing chord. And, and. All right. Very nice. That's a nice progression right there. Remember that progression. All right, our next video, I'm going to show you a little bit of how we can start adding a little melody and flow uh, to this same song, Wave Maker.